Thanks, Julie. I'm here today to talk about how WebXR advances human agency. WebXR is more than a device API specification. It's an idea. It's a principle. WebXR's promise is to empower individuals with agency as stakeholders in the metaverse. Agency for creators and developers to make experiences that build once and run on every device. Agency to upload these experiences to servers they manage. Agency to make experiences instantly available globally with a simple URL. And very importantly, agency to trust that the investment on experiences built today will still run tomorrow. WebXR is forward compatible in the same way that websites from decades past will still load in today's browsers. This is in contrast to native apps that arbitrarily break your world and force the expense of updating it or abandoning it. WebXR enabled browsers also build in the most important agency of all, agency for the user. For example, WebXR browsers use an opt-in model for features that have user privacy implications. Today, we've seen this agency in action. Arnold Putz is the creator of the VR Land platform where one of our watch parties is being hosted. No one told Arnold that he couldn't get fully immersive traversal working between two different WebXR platforms. So he built a mechanism that allows users to walk through a portal in VR Land directly into a connected experience in frame without breaking immersion. And that was made possible by setting the browser permission built into WebXR that lets the user choose to allow this agency. Part of the mission of the Polly's WebXR Awards, the WebXR Summit Series, and our Meta Traversal Initiative is highlighting the good works of others. And part of it is promoting cooperation and collaboration to accelerate the development of interoperability and open standards. Low-cost, widely available XR hardware is coming, and when it gets here, we're going to need content, lots of content. That is why we are here on the frontier of this new medium of immersive experiences, cheering on the makers who are making it happen. 10 years from now, today's metaverse will look even more quaint than the web of 30 years ago. Low poly 3D experiences will be as nostalgic as 8-bit 2D graphics are today. This we know, but what we don't know is if we will apply the lessons the web has already taught us, if we will be resilient and self-aware enough to rise to the challenges of delivering the safe and inclusive metaverse we imagine. I'm heartened by how this community comes together to cooperate on our shared aspirations. This is the foundation and the spirit we need to steer the ship of humanity forward and in doing so, to keep our agency. Go forth, my friends, and let us build a shared metaverse together. Thank you, and have a great day.